Hey, be having fun out here in Mexico, man. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Kurt, man. And today we're going to be trying to get some zero to 60 times in my Mustang GT, man. For y'all that don't know, maybe you're new to my channel. This is my 2016 Mustang GT with the performance package. I'm gonna give y'all a little quick overview of the car because I ain't done that since like the first video I got it. Under the hood, we got a JLT cold air intake. And I also got a tune. It was tuned by, it was like a, a performance shop somewhere. I don't even know who tuned it. I don't even know where it was tuned at, but I know it was tuned by some performance shop. I think it was called Paul's Performance or something like that. It was tuned on a dyno, I'm guessing, but I know it has a JLT coder intake, obviously. I bought it like this, so that's why I'm not really sure and I was told it has a, a throttle body on it too uh, from a GC350 and they all look the same so I can't really tell if that is a GC350 throttle body but I was told by the previous owner of the car that it is and uh, that it was also tuned by performance shop so owner told me I was making somewhere around 470 480 horsepower that's to the crank y'all can figure out what that means wheel I'm not sure how much wheel horsepower I got but I was told probably around 470 to 480. Um, could be right, could not. I don't know. I haven't really raced a car with that. I mean, I've raced scats and it's been pretty close. So it's kind of a hit or miss with scats. But anyway, black accents, you know, beautiful car. But today we're going to be trying to get some zero to, zero to 60 times. I don't have a draggy, but for y'all that don't know, Mustangs, I'm not sure if this is just the performance pack option, but Mustangs come with the track apps. You go into the track apps and then you go to acceleration timer right up here. And as you can see, we got the zero to 30, zero to 60. We got the zero to 100. We got the quarter mile and or the eighth mile. And then we got the quarter mile time. So I think what I'm going to do in this video, since we don't have a 60 to 130, I'm going to try and do a 0 to 60 mile per hour time, and then I'm going to try a quarter mile time. Not going to disclose exactly where in Mexico I'm at right now, but I'm in Mexico, obviously. Y'all can tell. Look at how sunny it is outside. Took a trip across the border. You know what I'm saying? But uh, look at this guy staring at me. <laughs> but uh, this is the road right here, man. It's already got some prep marks, as y'all can see. They be... They be having fun out here in Mexico, man. So, right here, um, I'd say this is a perfect quarter mile road. And I'm gonna try and wait until there's no traffic or anything. You know, we try, we like to do these, we like to do these things in safe environments with no people around, no traffic around in Mexico, man. I am a very responsible driver, I promise you. So, I'm gonna get my head gear put on and we're gonna test out the zero to 60 in the quarter mile. I'm probably gonna do two runs of each just so I can get up out of here because I really don't want to make this spot too hot or anything like that. So catch y'all when I get my headgear put on. All right, guys. So I think to engage it, all I have to do is go to my zero to one, uh, zero to 60 and it'll do an automatic start or a countdown start. So I have two options between automatic and countdown. I think I'm going to do the countdown start just because that's better for me and then what it's gonna do is if y'all see it's pretty cool um it shows these stage lights like you're at a drag strip and then it'll go stage down down and then it'll go to green and you start so it's pretty cool so what we're gonna do let's pull over here i'm not gonna do a burnout or nothing like that uh just because i don't i'm, I'm really not trying to burn through my tires or anything so I'm, i really want to get this done quick too so we're gonna pull up here to where the tire marks are at. And we're gonna engage track mode. Set up the launch control. The launch control is set at 3000. Press okay to start. So 
in that run, we actually got 4.9 seconds. Now, if you guys seen my poll on Instagram, I asked you guys if you thought that I would get below 4.9 seconds, and most of you guys said yes from the last time I checked. I haven't checked recently, um, but most of you guys said yes. That was exactly 4.9 seconds. That was exactly the time that I wanted to beat because in my 10 speed Mustang, I actually had 4.9 seconds in that too. So like I said, we're gonna do two runs. We're gonna try that again. Up here, so I can see where the tire marks are at. That's like the perfect spot to do it at. And we really didn't spin that bad. So let's go here again, zero to 60. Press OK to start. All right. That time we got 4.8 seconds. 4.8 seconds, guys. So first run, 4.9. Second run, 4.8. I think I'm gonna do one more run just to get a final number. And then we're gonna move on to the quarter mile times. All right, guys, just for a final number, we're gonna do one more zero to 60 time. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for me, man. Help your boy get up there. I'm trying to look, I'm trying to get 1K subs, man. On the road to 1K, we're creeping up there, man. Y'all can at least help me get to 500. I'll be very, very grateful. All right, guys, so another zero to 60. Countdown start. There we go. seconds looks like the final number even though we did get 4.8 seconds I'm gonna say 4.8 is my best time of course because that was my lowest one but it looks like we're creeping around 4.8 to 4.9 I can't really get over that I've got launch control on and everything and my launch control is set to 3k I think that's the best launch for these cars so now we're gonna do three quarter mile times and we'll wrap this video up. Quarter mile time. All right, y'all. So now we're gonna do a quarter mile time. Countdown start. the gear but I still ran a 13.3 if any of y'all know anything about <laughs> MT82 transmissions man is uh you gonna miss a gear <laughs> you gonna miss a gear what we're gonna do is one more run one more quarter mile time run just because I want to get up out of here so let's try one more time automatic start press okay let's try not to miss this time So I'm gonna pull to a another secluded spot so I can show y'all the results. 
all right y'all so we just ran a 13 one um the one that i missed the gear on we ran a 13 eight i think but i'm gonna show you guys the results i'm gonna pull over to a spot really quick and show you guys the results that i got and also i think i might need a new clutch sorry for the for the win i think i might need a new clutch my clutch kind of seems like it's not engaging properly so we're gonna have to check out and see what that's about but man y'all spam that like button man spam the comments let me know what y'all think man and uh get back to y'all in a second man i'm gonna pull over to a secluded area <laughs> and show y'all these results you know honestly if you think about it in my 10 speed um on my zero to 60 time i was getting around the same results so you got to think like the 10 speed shifts way faster than this car does because you know this is a manual so for me to be getting the same results as i was in my 10 speed i would say that's honestly not too bad so i'm gonna pull up to this gas station over here show y'all the results and then wrap this video up Again, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for me, man, please. I really appreciate y'all. All right, y'all, so I just pulled up to this random abandoned spot in Mexico, so I can see. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all these zero to 60 and these quarter mile time results. So what you gotta do is go, what the hell is this? Oh, we got lap timers in here and shit. Just go to uh, view and clear results right here and then we go to all-time best and as you can see my all-time best 0 to 60 was 4.8 seconds all-time best 0 to 100 was 11.1 .1 seconds my 60 foot was 2.2 seconds my 330 foot was 5.7 0 to 30 was 2.2 quarter mile time 13.1 seconds at 110 miles per hour that's what i just ran um eighth mile 8.6 seconds that's terrible but i never tracked the eighth mile and as you can see my best zero to 60 was 4.8 seconds as y'all know we were going between 4.8 to 4.9 my best was 4.8 and my best quarter mile was 13.1 so everybody on my instagram I did beat the 4.9 second um, 0 to 60 that I wanted to, so that's good. Um, the car, if you look it up on Google, this car is supposed to run a 4.6, but I'm guessing that's on a prep track with the right tires and everything. This was just on a road, a random road. I didn't burn the tires or anything, so I would say 4.8 seconds really isn't that bad considering the conditions, and 13.1 second quarter mile at 110 miles per hour, it's not terrible. You know, I mean, for me to have a tune and intake, I would think maybe I would have better results, but I don't know, man. I'm not even sure what tune I have in this car. It could be a terrible tune. Who knows, man? I have to get the car retuned. Also, have to get a E85 and stuff like that. So I have a lot of things planned with this car, but these are my base numbers, and I plan to increase those. So that's it for today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man, for your boy. Hit that notification bell to know when I upload next. And y'all have a good day, man. I'm out. Bye. Have a beautiful time.